Hello everyone and welcome back to a new tutorial with me, Emily Edmark in ROS. In today's tutorial, we are going to go through something called launch files. And what a launch file is, is that it's actually a simpler way to start or to run nodes. Uh, you can run multiple nodes in one launch files. So instead of using ROS run uh, two times and starting the ROS core, we can use only a launch file. And in future tutorials, we will also set parameters uh, through the launch files. But in this tutorial, we're only going to use it to start multiple nodes. So let me show you how you do. So as I told you, we have used the command ROS run, and then we have started each node separately. And we have also starting start the ROS core through this command. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to create a ROS launch file to launch two nodes at the same time. And these two nodes will be the server node and the client node, which we have created. So the service client node and the service server node. So to create a launch file, what you do is that you first of all, go to your package folder, you right click and you want to create a new folder called launch. And very important, it has to be named launch. And in this launch file, what we're going to do is that we're going to add our launch files in this one. So we right click and we go to new file and what I, then you can call this whatever you want. I will call it ROS service example dot launch. And then I will hit enter. So we create this file and this file uses XML language. So that's what you're, you need to use. So if you haven't used XML before, uh, it's not so complex. It's almost like HTML. So to write your launch file, what you do is that you first need two tags, which is an open tag and a closing tag for launch. And it, it's called launch. So you type launch and then you want a closing tag, which is also called launch. And then inside this to launch tag, what we want to do is we want to create another tag called node. Uh, so we're going to say node and then we want to say slash node. So we close that one also. So in this node tag, we're going to launch our first node. And the first node that we're going to launch is actually the service server node. So to do this, the first argument that we need to send in into this tag is the package name. And to do this, you type pkg in pa as package and then to uh, quotes and then you type the package name so my package name is tutorials so i will type tutorials and then you also want to send in another argument which is the type and in the type you want to address the file name so for our it's service client underscore node uh, service underscore server underscore node dot py so that's what i'm going to enter here server underscore node.py and then I can also send in a name and this will be the name of the node so we can just call this whatever we want let's call it service server node or something and then what we can do also is that we can say that output which is the output coming from our node we will send it to screen. So this will send it to the terminal, basically. Uh, so now if we would run this launch file, we would actually start a service server node. But we also want to start our service client node. So what we can do is that we just copy this node here and we paste it in down below. And we will just change the name from the type from service server to service client node. And then also the name will change to service client node. And we want the output to be on the screen. So that looks good. And what you can do now is basically save the file and we're done with the launch file. But we have one more thing that we need to do before we can launch this file. And that is that we need to open up our terminal and we need to go down to these files in our script folder. So I will go there, uh, source, and then and then we'll go into the package, 
and then we want to go to the scripts folder. And in here we have our different nodes. And what we need to do is that we need to make these two files, service server node.py and service client node.py. We need to make them executable. So if you would type lsla, you would see that they are not executable. And to do this, what you do is that you type chmod plus x and then the file name. So we say service client node.py, hit enter. And then we also want to do that for the server node. If you don't do this, you will receive an error and um, when you are trying to launch, uh, run the launch file. So now what we can do is just we go, we go back to our uh, Python cat game folder, make sure to source the devil set up a bash file. And now we can type the command ros launch our package name and then then and then if we hit tab two times we can see that we receive our launch file here so ros service example which is this file here in the back so now if i hit enter uh, we can see that we have an error actually interesting so unclosed token yeah okay so we have missed close yeah here in launch i have missed the the closing there so, and then I hit save. And now if I try to launch the file, we can see that we first start the server node and then we start the client node. And as we can expect, it prints out the result 14, which we defined in the file uh, service client node py. It was seven times two and print the result into the terminal. And that's actually what it does. So um, this is how you start multiple nodes in a launch files. And I hope this was helpful for you. And if you have any questions, just ask them in the comments. Hit like and subscribe if you want to. And see you in the next tutorial.